Hello everyone and welcome to 4D Makers Project Videos. In this video, we will build a smartwatch using the IOD09 Wi-Fi enabled display module. The IOD09 serves as a perfect platform for IoT projects that require graphical interfaces and solutions. The platform is easy to use and Arduino compatible which makes it perfect for both new and experienced users. This project uses the Wi-Fi capabilities of the IOD09 to obtain the time on the user's current time zone, called the Network Protocol Time, using the User Datagram Protocol or UDP. Next, it will request for the current weather condition and the date on the user's IP location through the use of the API XPU's Weather API services. The network time protocol obtained is saved and used for internal counting. So when an hour has passed, the code will automatically ask and update the time. When the time reaches a certain value, it will ask and update the current weather condition as well. To build this project, we will need the following. An IOD09 a 0.9 inch 80 by 160 pixel intelligent display module with integrated Wi-Fi for fast implementation of wireless GUI applications. The latest from 4D Systems Gen 4 Internet of Display series. A 4D UPA or 4D Universal Programming Adapter. A universal USB to serial TTL bridge converter for programming the 4D Systems Gen 4 Display Module series and a 5V external power supply. To program the IOD09 display module, we will need micro USB cable and micro SD card. Build the circuit according to the provided schematic diagram. You can visit our website for the complete code for this project. Once you have the zip project, extract the project to the destination folder you prefer and launch the workshop for IDE. Click open and navigate to that folder. First, load the 4D Arduino extended graphics file to your IOD09 display. Open the file sw.4dardusd, load the code to the display, and then load the graphics onto the micro SD card. To summarize the programming of the project, the project is divided into three major parts. First, the NTP time request via UDP. Next, the API XPU weather API request via TCP. And then, the IOD09 graphics handling. In our code, we first include the necessary library header files. We used a JSON parser library from username bblanchon of GitHub to parse the JSON text provided by the API XPU API, which contains the weather information. Then, we initialized variables and constants for the weather API, NTP time request, and IOD09 graphics handling. Inside our setup routine, a serial communications port is opened for debugging. Then, we connect the IOD09 to the access point using SSID and password. After a quick delay, we request and update the time using the request time function. Then we initialize the IOD09 display. Finally, we request weather forecast data. Inside our main loop, we are performing a non-blocking delay for 1000 millisecond, which will count the time independently. Then inside it, whenever we reach an R of counting, the project will request and update the time automatically using the request time found time automatically and if the R is equivalent to 6, 12, or 18 respectively, the project will request and update the weather forecast automatically using the request forecast function. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.